We're announcing today the latest edition of the Qualcomm 5G modem family, the Snapdragon X70 5G modem RF system. A couple things I want to tell you about that. It's the very first 5G modem RF system with an integrated AI processor. AI is coming to connectivity. It's the Qualcomm, Qualcomm is providing a 5G AI suite for AI power optimizations, improved speeds, coverage for millimeter wave, and sub six links. Also has new capabilities, 10 gigabit 5G. It has the ability to provide 4X sub six carrier aggregation, and it has the ability to provide carrier aggregation on the uplink for 3.5 gigabits per second speed on the uplink, which we demonstrated live in our tech summit. We're very excited about the roadmap of 5G. We could not be more excited. The speed that the roadmap of 5G is developing is faster than any other generation of wireless. And we're very happy to continue to push technology forward with the X70 modem. So you heard from Qualcomm about how we think about modem for the devices. But I would like to take this opportunity to also welcome to stage a great friend and somebody that's been with us driving the, the roadmap of 5G, the CEO, Ericsson Borier, to tell you about that from a network's perspective. Welcome, Borier. Thank you. Yeah, the, um, the collaboration between Qualcomm and Ericsson, I, th I think, would have as critical for driving 5G for the future. And it's driven the leadership between our two companies that actually enable us to use 5G today. But let me give a couple of examples. So at Mobile World Congress in 2016, we actually announced a collaboration on 5G technology and early interoperability testing. A year later, that's when we committed to accelerating 5G by one year, which today seems like nothing, but at the time it was a major commitment to launch for deployment 5G in 2019. We also drove 5G specs in the same year in 3GPP. In 2018, we completed the first 5G call on a smartphone. In 2019, commercialization started to kick off, and we at Ericsson introduced numerous innovations such as spectrum sharing, 5G carrier aggregation, extended range 5G uh, millimeter wave for fixed wireless access. And last October, we, all, we both joined operators China Unicom, Docomo, Telstra, Tim, and Verizon informing GSMA 5G millimeter wave accelerator initiative to further proliferate 5G millimeter wave adoption globally. And I would say we are today only at the beginning of 5G. And we are here to reaffirm our commitment to drive the 5G ecosystem and innovate together, working faster and harder to bring the full potential of 5G technology to the market. We're also encouraged by a number of technology developments. It includes carrier aggregation, and that's of course important to extend 5G coverage. And Ericsson has a unique 5G carrier aggregation implementation that we call Coverage Booster. It's a versatile 5G carrier aggregation software that delivers about 60% wider reach for mid-band TDD. And that is actually proven in the field. And together with Qualcomm, we are now ready for commercial deployment with flagship devices. In addition, we're also encouraged by other technology enhancements, including low latency capabilities that will lead to many more use cases for 5G in many industries. We also see, and Cristiano touched upon this, the importance of 5G and AI, but also in smarter networks. 
So AI in devices and the network will actually enhance 5G performance. And here we're talking, for example, on more efficient beam forming algorithms. And that's going to lead to better coverage, better cost efficiency, and better energy efficiency. And of course, energy efficiency is really at the top of our agenda. So we focus our efforts on scaling 5G to meet consumers' and industry's expectations for new services, managing the fourfold traffic increase that we expect by 2025. But we need to do that while simultaneously actually lower energy consumptions. Well, we do more together. And I would say we, we lead the 5G evolution towards 6G through 5G advanced. And of course, we're working today on the third set of 5G specifications in 3GPP, release 17. That it will include many benefits and innovations that's going to drive 5G adoptions in many verticals and industries. But we're also working together to shape and scope 5G advanced. And that's going to proliferate 5G into virtually every device and use case very shortly thereafter. 5G evolution is fast and no longer defined by only smartphones. The ecosystem needs to basically exponentially grow in capabilities to serve a far larger marketplace. And one thing is for sure, together Ericsson and Qualcomm, we will remain at the forefront investing in R&D and innovation ahead of time to deliver limitless connectivity. Thank you. Thank you so much, Borier. Very happy to have you here with us. As you know, we have a long history with Ericsson, and, uh, and it's really important to continue to drive together the roadmap for innovation. And you also heard about 5G Advance. Uh, that's going to be the next big milestone, and I'm very excited about the ability to create a new major cycle of innovation in 5G with our partners.